Hello, this is Brian Madden with Mission Pinball. And I want to show you we have added MPF to the Python package index. Uh, so now you can install MPF via pip and via anywhere. It's very easy. So we've got MPF in, in the Python package index, MPF MC, which is the media controller. I have a brand new Windows 10 computer here. So this is uh, has l like literally nothing installed. And so if I just kind of go and show, I don't know, um, yeah, it's blank. I installed Python, that's it. So brand brand new computer uh, to install. Here, I'll just do pip list, which shows me what packages are installed in this computer uh, from Python. And pip and setup tools, that's what you get. So you wanna install MPF, you go to the command prompt, you do uh, pip install MPF. And it, it's going to download MPF and it's going to see what uh, prerequisites MPF requires also. So the uh, serial uh, interface we use to talk to fast controllers, uh, the YAML interface. And it does that and that's it. And now, by the way, running MPF now is easy. You just type MPF, boom, from anywhere, uh, any folder, whatever. Now it says cannot find machine folder none because I didn't specify machine folder or the current folder I'm in is not a machine. Uh, but that's it. Now that's just MPF. You got to install the MPF media controller too. So pip install mpf mc. By the way, um, the mpf mc, it, it requires mpf. So in fact, I could have saved the time and instead of doing pip install mpf, I could have just done uh, pip install mpf mc. So this is going to download its prerequisites. Um, now with the media controller, there's a bunch of prerequisites. So uh, it uses Kivi which we use for our uh, sort of graphics and sound, you know, multimedia library. Um, Kivi itself is gonna use SDL2 and GStreamer, and there's a, a bunch of other things there. While that's cooking, let me just go to this other machine. This is a 64-bit uh, Windows 10 brand new install. So I'll just do this one directly, pip install MPF MC. So all I did here is I installed Python, a fresh machine, and that's it. So it's downloading. Uh, you're going to see the same components there. Uh, this other one is still running. These are running in VMs, and I've got actually a bunch of VMs running here, so might not be quite as fast. Um, the good news is nothing's compiling right now, so this is a very kind of safe process. Um, what MPF uses and everything else, you know, Kivi and all these things, they're all pre-compiled. So all it's doing is downloading and then just copying the files uh, into into this, the system location. So it's not like it doesn't require, you know, compilers or, I don't know, other things that might break. So here's the x86 one. There is the 64-bit one. I wonder if I can get both these on the screen at the same time. Okay, uh, this first one here is done. Um, it's saying our version of pip is old. That's just because I didn't upgrade anything. I just like took whatever you know came came with it. By the way, um, let's run a quick test here, and I'll do uh, pip install mock, which is something that we use um, for the unit tests. Uh, the unit tests are not something you've really to worry about. I just don't have any game files in here, so let's just do uh, Python m unit test uh, discover MPF. And there we go. And we can, oh, this one's still running here. So we've got animations running. Um, yeah, that's it. So cool. We should actually have sound here in a second. I don't know if this Temptation picks up sound. Um, but yeah, it's all working. It's so easy to install. Test There's our sounds. Quinn wrote that. Over it's awesome. Thank Linda you. Tom.